Hi, are you ready to be in charge of your very own website? Sell products with no hidden fees so you can make more of a profit? Be more professional for the people that go on your website and just take your brand to the next level. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a store to your Wix website. So if you want to know how to create a website first, I will link the video down below of me creating the website, you know, making the about page and the contact page and all of that good stuff. This video more pertains to creating your store, adding products and variations, setting up shipping and adding sales tax. So if you're more interested in that part, then that will be what this video is about. So thank you so much to Wix for sponsoring today's video. I am honored to be able to make the second video for them. I have been using Wix for many, many years and created four websites with them. So I, you can trust me when I say that you're going to love Wix and their interface and just how everything works. So creating my own store and website was really the best thing that I could have ever done for my business because for one, the flexibility, the versatility, you can add as many products as you want, put as many pictures as you want, decorate it how you want. You have no hidden fees. So you're able to make more of a profit on your website. You appear more professional to those who are going in and out of your website. You have the tracking and analytics. You can market it how you want. It's just honestly, it was just the best thing I could have ever done. So I highly encourage you if you're thinking about it and don't know if you want to do it, it's the time. Now is the time. So I'm going to go ahead and put a link down below if you guys are wanting to create your very own store with Wix as well and go ahead and try it out for yourself and you can kind of create it along with me. So let's go ahead and get on into it. In the previous video, I showed you how to create your website. In my example, I chose a template from the 80 plus customizable online store templates, although there are 500 plus website templates that you can add a store to. I created my website and purchased the business basic e-commerce plan, although I did decide to upgrade again during creation of the store to the business unlimited plan. It has so many features that make it worth it, and we will get into some of those features here in this video. If your business already has a name, then you're off to a great start and you can create your logo with the free Wix logo maker if you choose. If not, use the business name generator to get the perfect name for your brand and choose your business name. It's a great feature that Wix offers. So if you chose a website that did not have a store and you wanna add one, you just go to the toolbar, click add to site, and then click store and add to site to add a store to your website. Once you have your store on your website, you can go to your product page two different ways. You can go from the dashboard or you can go from your main website and the editor and click get started to add products. Once you get to the product page, you're going to see that since I chose a template, there are already products on there and you can click on them and kind of get an idea of how a listing is supposed to look. But I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of the ones on here since they are from the template and I'm going to create my own. Before we get started adding products, let's talk about collections. So what collections are are sections that you can put your products in to organize them better for yourself and for your customers to sort when they're viewing your products on your website. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm only going to be making two collections just to show you guys kind of an example, but you can add as many collections as you'd like depending on how many products you have. So now let's add our first product. First, you're gonna choose whether or not your product is digital or physical, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with physical first. You can also find products to sell online with drop shipping and print on demand services. First, add some photos. You can add videos or photos to your listing page. Next, choose a title that matches your product that is searchable in a thorough product description full of helpful information for your buyer. Right here, you can also add an additional info section, and I decided to let this be my refund return policy for this item. Choose a price for your item. If you have multiple variations, put the lowest price here. This area here has a helpful cost of goods, profit, and margin section that only you can see. If your item is customizable, this custom text area is great for that. And here you can do product options. So here I am gonna do the size options. I'm gonna list several different sizes and you can also then gear it towards the price difference for each size. So if each option is gonna cost different, you're gonna click this button here that says manage pricing for variance. So I'm gonna select that and here I'm gonna edit my pricing to match the different sizes.
So here at the top, select the collection that your item will be on along with some cool promotion options that you can utilize within your listing and some other advanced options. We're gonna come back to the search engine optimization area here in a minute. All right, so once that's saved, I have a couple items that I want to copy the listing. So that is something very helpful here at Wix. You can go up here to the three dots at the top and you can duplicate the listing. And it, what it does is it just copies everything and you can go and customize it and change the things that you need to change and everything else stays the same. So is that something that's very helpful when you're doing multiple products that are very similar? Since this website is also going to have digital files, I'm gonna go ahead and create those now. So the creating a listing like this is very similar to before, although we are going to change it up by uploading our zip file for our SVGs and then adding our title and our description and just filling it out just like we did for our previous listing. So that is what I did here. And I went ahead and created a couple digital downloads. So the way that digital downloads are set up on here is that when your customer purchases them, they will send to their email and the files that you chose for each listing will send to your customer. All right, now that our products are finished for now, we're gonna go back to our website to the editor and we're gonna kinda get a view of how everything is going to look for your customers. So now that I'm back in the editor, I'm just going to select and edit the way that it looks here for our customers. So here in the product option menu, you're able to change and customize the way that it appears to your customers on the website. So it's really cool that you can customize it how you want. You can have the little mini cart pop up when they click. You can do add to cart options. You can customize the view of it if it's centered or if it's to the right or the left. So right here, just play around with it and figure out what works best for you and the look that you're going for. You wanna also make sure that all of your collections and everything that you want to be searchable pop up here as well and you have that able to be filtered. After you're done with that, you can go and preview it and just see how it looks and see if you're happy with the way that everything turned out. You can click on the listings and you can see exactly how it would appear to your customer. Now we're gonna talk about shipping. So you're gonna set the regions that you ship to and specify how these rates are calculated. You can set shipping rates based on weight, products, order total, and more. You can also offer a flat rate, free shipping, or curbside pickup. So here in my website, I decided to rate by product. I figure with the items that I'm doing, since I'm doing so many different types of products, that it will be great to be able to select different shipping rates for those specific products. So right here, I'm creating the group of the sublimation transfers. I'm gonna have all of those at a flat fee, but if you wanna set it up differently than me, that is totally fine. I'm just showing you what I'm doing for my website. So like I said, I did a flat rate here and it also has underneath it that you can offer free shipping when a customer spends a certain amount on your shop, which I think is really good to do because it makes your customers wanna spend a little bit more so they can get the free shipping. Next, you're gonna tell Wix how you want your group rate to be on your shipping and it gives you some helpful information on how you can set that up depending on what you want. So let's talk a little bit about sales tax. So here I decided to upgrade my plan to the business unlimited plan because it has the Avalara tax tool included. So with Avalara, you can get automatic sales tax calculation for your products. You add your business's location and you let the Avalara tax tool handle the rest. Being a busy business owner, sales taxes is stressful. So here having it automatically do that for you and handle that is one less thing you have to worry about. And to me, that is 100% worth it. 
Next, you need to set up payments so you can get paid and be paid on your Wix website. So you need to connect to secure payment provider. Start accepting secure payments online by connecting a payment provider within your region. You can get integrated payment management and competitive payment processing rates with Wix payments, which is what I chose. You can also integrate your PayPal account within this as well. So a very important thing you need to do is make your store mobile friendly. Review your site on mobile. The majority of shoppers browse and buy from their mobile phone, so make sure it's easy for them to find what they want on the mobile version of your store. And that is what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of fixing it up the way that I want my customers to view my website. While we're talking about mobile, make sure to download the Wix mobile app. You can manage your online store on the go from any device with the Wix mobile app, add products, view orders, track shipping, manage inventory, chat with shoppers, offer coupon codes and more. And I utilize this every single day. So now let's talk a little bit about marketing and SEO. So you can maximize your online store's SEO by driving traffic to your store from search engines like Google and make sure that your site appears in potential shoppers search results when they are searching online. You can get your personalized SEO plan with Wix's SEO Wiz. You answer a couple questions about your site, location, and keywords, and then you follow your step-by-step -step SEO plan. This is so helpful. Optimize your product pages, titles, and descriptions. Those are called meta tags. This tells Google that the these pages are part of an online store and gives them the best chance of ranking in the search engine result page. You can also use SEO patterns to instantly update your pages titles and descriptions across all the product pages. Also Wix sites that complete SEO setups receive two times more visitors and 1.3 times higher turnover. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about Facebook and Instagram and ads. So you can reach new shoppers by advertising your products with automated Facebook and Instagram ad campaigns. You let Wix handle the rest. The algorithm runs tests daily, optimizing your ads nonstop to find you the right audience so that you can have your maximum return on ad spend. And did you know that 40% of Wix stores get two times more sales with Facebook ads by Wix? And I love it. I use it all the time. I use ads continuously with my other websites sites I utilize them daily and I do get a great return so I highly recommend them and while we're on the topic of Facebook I did want to mention that Facebook has a shops now and Wix has an integration that you can integrate all of your products to Facebook shops and they can purchase through your website through them so this is an amazing amazing tool that Wix also offers and I wanted to mention it so here I was just showing you that you can browse through all of the other tabs and there's so many more marketing campaigns and different tools that you can integrate within your Wix websites. The options are endless, you guys. So I just wanted to show you there, you can set up coupons and do different marketing strategies, Google Analytics, um, just a ton of things that you can add to your website. Okay, another thing that I think is really important is recovery emails for abandoned carts. So you can set up abandoned cart emails to re-engage with shoppers and encourage them to complete their purchases. Also make sure that your Facebook pixel is properly connected so that you can remarket to your store visitors and the shoppers that didn't complete checkout. And also Wix sites with active automation like automatic cart emails, they get 2.7 times more visitors and 3.3 times higher turnover. All right, everyone. So I know I couldn't get into absolutely everything within this video, but we just scratched the surface on the capabilities of Wix and why I love it so much. Having your own website and store is so beneficial to your business because it truly does give you a professional platform, more of a profit, creative abilities, marketing your own way, and so much more. Thanks again to all my friends at Wix for sponsoring this video and remember to click the link below to create your own store today. I'm so excited for you in this journey. Bye everyone.